If you want to know how to make your doll paintings look amazing, then keep on watching this video. So obviously starting off with a new layer and changing the layer mode to multiply. Now no matter what the painting is, no matter what the object is, pick up a dark brown color and then fill the whole object in with this color. Just trust the process. Because we don't have clipping mask on Autodesk sketchbook, you're gonna have to paint over the object without worrying about the color spilling out the object because we are doing it in a new layer. And then you'll have to manually erase anything which is coming out of the shape. So I'm gonna be fast forwarding this process and just gonna jump on to the next step. Once everything is clean, now you wanna pick up your eraser and erase any part of it in any shape you want like this, alright? Once you've erased it, just lock the layer like that because now we're gonna be adding some colors, okay? But before that, I just reduced the opacity of the layer. Totally depends on you what kind of intensity you want with this process, okay? So you can just control the opacity and just decide what intensity of lighting you want. Now I'm picking up a really bright yellow color and I'm picking up my airbrush. And the reason why I'm picking up my airbrush is because I just don't wanna blend it out a lot later now i'm adding this color onto the edge as in where we have erased the edge of that erased part you want to add this color really closer to the edge and you want to make sure you're not spreading this color out a lot once you're done with that pick up a orange color bright orange color using the same brush but making sure you're increasing the size of the brush add this color right around that yellow color but this color should just be inside that brown colored shape now once you're happy pick up a smudge brush not a colorless brush a smudge brush now you're gonna smudge it out when you're smudging it out you want to make sure you're just focusing on smudging the edges of this color that we have added and not really just smudging everything out and before you actually smudge it out make sure you unlock the layer or else you won't be really able to smudge the color out once that is done create a new layer and change the layer mode to soft light i believe and now pick up again a bright yellow color now this time make sure this is lighter and i'm using my airbrush and adding this color on the other half the erased part of that object okay it now looks like a sunlight looks so much better than before now before we move further i'm adding this blue background because if we are adding sunlight then why not okay and this is how i'm actually Actually making that object look that much more better now you guys can see that the yellow color is spilling out of the shape again because we don't have clipping mask on Autodesk sketchbook so I'm gonna manually erase the part which is spilling out of the shape once that is done I am going ahead on this layer and picking up this function called hue saturation and lighting and I'm just increasing the lightness of the background because if it's that sunny that the object is shining that much I just wanted to make sure that background actually supports that kind of sunlight all right I'm creating another layer now this is all done but we still have one more step left into making this object look that much more better than before so pick up the lightest color from the background now pick up any color from your background probably the lightest and add it on the other side of that object now again we don't have clipping masks so we're probably gonna have to erase the access off manually but later on right now my focus was on just adding this color and not be neat about it okay now I change the color of the background and just to see what I have to erase and I erased it now it is looking clean now I'm just gonna go back with my smudge brush this one particularly and I'm just gonna start smudging this part before you do that make sure you unlock the layer or else the brush won't work I'm smudging it making sure I'm just really just focusing on the edges of that color so that it does not look washed out that's not what we want all right so yeah that's what I am doing here and that's it like that's how you make your paintings look better basically what we did is we just 
added light on the object we just played around with lighting all right that's how you play around with lighting now this is just sunlight and it can be just anything if you're painting some object and you have created an environment behind the object which has some crazy lighting going on you can just paste on that pick a color and paint that on the erased part of the object as i showed you guys initially rest of the process is going to be similar right and always always just make sure you're picking some color from the background and adding it onto the object onto the subject okay that's how you make it pop so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up let me know what you guys think about this topic and i will see you guys in my next video